we are always trying to make each and every one of our team members here better at their job, you know, and don't be scared to make your people better at, than you are at something. You know, honest to God, it, it took me a long time to realize that that if if I can surround myself with people smarter and better at what they do, that's a hat I don't have to wear. You know, it's a hat that comes off of my hat rack. It's like hardscaping. I know enough about hardscaping to be dangerous. You know, I, 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 I'm that guy when it comes to hardscape. Now, I, I can bid it. I can talk a little bit about it, but at the end of the day, I really I don't know a lot about it because I, I've I've got people here that know a lot about it. Now, as your company grows, you know, and or let, let's go back the other way, the smaller you are, the more in depth you are with everything about your company. But as your business grows, that has to be delegated out that has to be delegated to somebody else and when you delegate that and i've kind of got i've kind of got off the topic of, of of budgeting for training but when you delegate that out you not only have to give somebody the responsibility of that particular job whether it's hardscaping or plowing or salting or fertilization of weed control whatever it is it doesn't matter what it is when they get the responsibility to do it make sure you give them the authority to also get the job done and that's something that we can talk about more in depth another day but too many times as we promote somebody into a job title they get the title of the job they get the responsibility of the job but they don't get the authority to carry through the job. And what I mean by that just quickly is, you know, if I'm going to put somebody in a spray tech job, let's say, I'm going to make sure they get the ongoing training that they need, that they maintain their CEUs, and I'm going to pay for that training for them because I want them to be the best they can be. I'm going to let them be involved in the decision of what we're treating, when we're treating it, and what rate we're treating it because they're the front line. They're the communicator with our customer. They're the person that is responsible for the result. So it's not fair to give them the responsibility of the result without giving them the authority to make the desired result happen. And I hope that makes sense. And get, getting back to uh, Doug and, you know, the, the, the training and riding with somebody. And, yeah, training is very expensive. Training's expensive. Off-site training's expensive. On-site training's expensive. Yeah, do, do I need somebody to ride around with me to plow a, a parking lot or de-ice a parking lot or to spray a parking lot? Absolutely not. But if I, my expectations are for that person to do that job based on our standard operating procedure on how we plow, how we treat a lot, or how we spray a lot, or how we treat a yard, or how we trim a hedge, or how we clean up, or you know how much mulch we put down, there's so many little nuances to each and every one of our companies that when you want somebody to do it, your way, you need to make sure that they receive the training to do it your way. Otherwise, it's just, it's not fair. It's just not fair. Appreciate this text guy sent me. says, brother, you're the limbaugh of Turf Talk Radio. You're the man. I don't know about that, but... uh <laughs> I just I just try to I just try to be honest. I just try to be honest. I try to put out those mistakes that I made and just help guys be more successful, more profitable cuz you know at the end of the day all it boils down to hey, we're all in this for one reason and that's to make a profit. And we can all be better at what we do.